A canine trainer in the state of Georgia wants to donate one of his puppies to the police department in Irwin. Police there lost a canine named Scotty in the flooding. And 10 News reporter Lauren Lovett spoke with that trainer out of state about this call for help and why he responded. Lauren. John Ashley Louth says he saw the police department's post about trying to locate Scotty. He lives in Georgia, which suffered its own storm problems and had spotty internet service. When he finally reconnected, he learned Scotty had passed. Ashley Louth runs a canine training business in Valdosta, Georgia. When he saw one of the Irwin Police Department's canines had died in the storm, he knew he had to help. Well, having <clears throat> lost dogs myself, you know, it's always a uh difficult and a very emotional time so I could relate to how he must have felt. Obviously you could never replace one that you've lost. Everyone is its own individual little character. Canine Scotty was lost amid the deluge of water that devastated Unicoi County. EPD asked the community to be on the lookout for him. They shared an update on Sunday informing people Scotty's body had been found. Louth has years of canine training experience and says he wanted to give back the only way he knew how. So I thought, well, as I've got a bunch of very capable young dogs, it would do me no disservice to allow somebody else to have one. He says canines not only make police feel safer, but the community too. It's a good way for the officers to be able to interact and reach out to the general public. You know, if you've got the dog with you, people want to stop and say hi, which makes, you know, it's easier for them to build relationships within the community. Louth is offering one of two puppies, both born on the 4th of July. He's inviting officers to take their pick and says while Scotty can't be replaced, hopefully one of the puppies will make a good addition to the canine unit. Lau says the puppies have plenty of time to bond with officers before going into service. And I talked briefly with an EPD officer who worked with Scotty. He told me it was too soon to talk about him. John. What a loss, but what a gift by a stranger seeing a need. Lauren, thanks so much for that story.